Hi everyone, my name is Kayla and this is my virtual art exhibition. Due to coronavirus, sadly, I had to set up my exhibition in my living room. In this video, you will see each piece in detail in the same order that I would have placed it in if my exhibition were to have taken place. All of these pieces were created with heart and passion around a topic that I believe is so important. The overall theme is acts of violence, and my intention of this exhibition is to shine a light on unfortunate events that have happened and bring awareness to them. My first piece is called Never Again and is centered around gun violence. The amount of deaths caused by guns in the U.S. is among the highest in the world, and this to me is no surprise due to the fact that the U.S. has some of the weakest gun laws. Since I'm from the U.S., I have been hearing about school shootings and shootings in public areas ever since I was young. There was one particular mass shooting that had a large effect on me, which was a Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. This was an ultimately sad shooting because the lives of innocent children were taken. The intention of this art piece is to show just how serious and common gun violence in the U.S. is. The background of the map represents the bloodshed of all of those across the U.S. affected by mass shootings. Each shooting that has happened in the year of 2019 is labeled on this map by an actual bullet. The U.S. states are backwards and reflective of the actual U.S. because the position of the laws is wrong. It reflects how when people see the U.S., they don't see it correctly. They only see the violence that is going on and what the news is showing. Never Again is the title because after every shooting, people claim that something like this can never happen again. But actions are never actually taken to prevent shootings like these. This next painting is titled Rest in Power. Rest in Power was the name of one of the movements that came from the shooting of Trayvon Martin. For those who don't know, Trayvon Martin was just 17 years old when he was shot and killed. He had just left a convenience store in Florida, carrying only an Arizona tea and a pack of Skittles. His sweatshirt hood was on and it was late at night, so he was considered to have looked suspicious. This piece depicts his innocence along with the innocence of several other black lives that are taken due to stereotypes. The background of this piece consists of signs and posters protesting against police brutality, racism, and Martin's case. The target on the back represents how anyone can be a victim of police brutality even when innocent. It is important to remember that Martin was unarmed and not engaging in any illegal or dangerous activities, but still got shot. This painting depicts an image of 9-11, a firefighter, a war scene, and a soldier. These events caused the destruction of cities and loss of lives. 9-11 and the war it almost led to were tragic events and this painting shows peace throughout it. For this painting, I wanted to turn something so tragic into something beautiful. I placed these sections in the form of a peace sign to promote the idea of spreading peace instead of violence. The background of this painting was created using gold leaf. Gold leaf in the Byzantine times was used to compose the background of artworks, making the subject of the art appear to be flying against the heavenly sky. The gilding of the background represents the sacred light and divine light of the holy icons. It also represents the light of God shining through tragic events and it shows that there is always hope or light at the end of the tunnel. For that reason, I called this one the Golden Rule. The Golden Rule is to treat others the way you want to be treated. So if you treat others kindly, that's what you will get in return. And that's the message that I wanted to show through this painting. This illustration is called Peaceful Weapons and is a drawing to show that love and kindness will always overpower violence no matter the situation. This piece shows two soldiers face to face holding weapons which are drawn as flowers. Recently, the United States and Iran had conflicts involving the deaths of innocent civilians as well as a potential war. This piece shows that instead of tackling conflicts with guns, they should be approached in a more peaceful manner. The symbolic language of flowers is widely recognized in many countries. Nearly every feeling imaginable can be expressed through different flowers. The flowers replacing these guns were carefully chosen due to their own meanings. Those meanings are love, daintiness, innocence, resolution, hope, friendship, and passion. My last piece is titled Love Does Not Hurt and it focuses on a more individual level and portrays domestic violence. Domestic violence is a big issue but it can oftentimes be overlooked. What I want to show through this piece is that people in this situation generally feel like they're trapped and that there's no way out. This statue symbolizes a woman figure breaking out of domestic violence. Women are reported to suffer domestic abuse many more times than men. 
The woman inside the box is crying, but the reason I put the figure in a clear glass box is to represent that this is a situation where although someone may be trapped in a domestic abuse environment, they can see that they need to get out and it is something that they will need to break out of, hence the broken glass.